Hey, welcome back. And I want to thank everybody out there for subscribing to my channel. Appreciate it. Helps me build my channel. Um, today I got a really special one for you. Obviously, you can see behind me the Golden Gate Bridge. And I've lived here um, for 50 years now. And I'm going to show you kind of a hopefully a, a more um, view from my perspective not a tourist perspective so there are some things that I'll show you that most average people probably don't know about so today uh, we're going to check out the Golden Gate Bridge and it is one of the wonders of the world so let's go check out the Golden Gate Bridge all right all right so we are coming from Marin County on Highway 101 South and the Robin Williams Tunnel going through it hold your breath and there she is Golden Gate Bridge to the right is the Marin County Headlands, um, which I will do a separate video of later. But today we're going to focus on the Golden Gate Bridge. So uh, this is coming down the hill. And for those of you visiting and want to know about bridge toll, it is not cheap. So it's $8.70 without a fast pass. So here we are. Uh, each one of these towers is uh, 746 feet tall. And this was the longest uh, span, uh, span bridge up until 1964 so they opened the bridge in 1937 it took a little over four years to build um, and to the right obviously is the Pacific Ocean to the left is the city of San Francisco and we're almost to the middle now the two large cables one on the right, one on the left. They, uh, if you put them together, the, the length of the cables is 80,000 miles. Also, the individual cables inside of each one comprise uh, 27,000 cables per, all wrapped around little tiny ones. So it's pretty impressive. This, I think it was started in 1933, they finished in 1937. It was the longest suspension bridge for um, up until 1964. So if you do the math, uh, how's my math? That's 37 years. Um, now, uh, I believe there's uh, 15 bridges that are longer in the world than this bridge. They did away with bridge toll um, people about, it's been about 15 years now. So I'm going to show you guys something kind of cool that most tourists aren't going to know about. So if you exit here on the right side, so take this far right and you take the immediate exit. Right here. You can actually go under the bridge on this secret road here that not many people know about. So you go under the bridge here and you can go to the other side. So, I, you know, most tourists are not going to know about this. So, right now I'm going under the bridge. 
and suddenly you're on the other side and there's a lot of uh, you know there's a gift shop over here there's a lot of cool things to look at over here and then um, if you're like me you look for somewhere to park paid for parking looks like they're gonna charge me to park here but that's fine keep off so here we are and this talks uh, shows you a little bit about the area we're in a little map here there's a Golden Gate Transit, which is a bus system, the Muni system for San Francisco. And then where we actually are, I parked here. I just filmed there. And I'm going to walk around and show you guys everything. So a little note um, for people coming to visit that have never been here. You see how there's like no parking over there right now there is because of covid but on a normal summer day you're never going to find parking here ever just forget about it so what i would recommend is uh take uber or lyft um that's your easiest bet just park you know a couple miles away then you don't have to stress over it and they they come here all the time so this is the cable and there's uh, over, what is it, 27,000 of these little guys inside. And these are the two that you see um, going over the, the support towers. It has some details about it. Length of each cable is uh, uh, 7,600 feet. It's 36 inches in diameter and 27,572 individual cables in here. And it's 80,000 miles worth of cable. And it weighs uh, 2,400 tons. Pretty crazy. So, you think about that. The two of those are supporting the entire roadway of the cars and the buses and the commute traffic on the Golden Gate Bridge. And look at the size of these bolts. And you think that's 1937 technology. So this bridge is uh, pretty impressive, I must say. And there's a roundhouse cafe up there, which I'll show you in a minute. But let's go look at this bronze statue. You know, it's funny, it's probably all of you people know that when you guys are in your hometowns, you never go to the tourist spots unless you have visitors. It's kind of how I feel about this, believe it or not. I mean, I've been here uh, since 1971 and I, I don't come and look at all this unless I have visitors. So it's kind of neat to see it all. So, wow. This is really cool. This is, check it out. When you change, it changes. It's like those 3D postcards. So it shows the construction phases. I love that. It's really cool, actually. That's 1933 and then 1937. That's pretty awesome, actually. Whoever thought of that is a genius. I mean, to make it that big, you know? It's pretty cool. All right, this, this gentleman here is uh, the engineer of the bridge, Joseph Strauss. He was uh, born in 19, or 1870, died in 19, 1930. Wow, he died in 1938. 
he was only lived one year after the bridge was um, open. That's kind of crazy to think about. Right. Let's see what these other signs say. It's kind of half, you know, there hasn't been a lot of people around due to COVID, so it's, it's not like the 100% everything's uncovered. And learn about engineering history. This is kind of telling you what we just discovered. And you notice the QR code so you can have your smartphone and, and Scan those with your camera, and it'll give you links. Here's how they twisted the cables. And it shows you the height of the towers. And this is opening day. Some quick facts for you guys. It cost $35 million to build in 1930s, approximately $1.5 billion this year. Or 2016 money. And the different types of bridges, suspension bridges. And then of course the, the ones you're used to seeing, the olden day ones. The trains would go on. And these are kind of cool. These which is here. Look at that one. That's, wow, that's pretty impressive wherever that is. It's in France. But here they got these two covered. I, I, I wouldn't know what's under them. Either they're about to reveal them or they're broken or something. And then this talks about the Art Deco and Grand Scale Chevron design and the angular um, stepped brackets on the horizontal struts of the bridge non-structural added for visual effect here and then underneath and then the hidden art deco gem of the marin north side this little thing here concrete pylons at the end of the arches and then even underneath. And the lights. So there's a lot to be impressed by. I'm not sure what's over here. Let's take a look. Oh, a little picnic area. Probably some kind of maintenance barn or something. Yeah, everything's kind of sealed off for winter. Not everything, but a lot. There's a sign here. Let's see what it says. I'm going to show you guys everything I can. Let's see, they're probably just redoing it because a lot of this stuff is looking kind of tattered. So they have this big mural here on the wall. Making the impossible possible, the story of the Golden Gate Bridge. If you guys want to read that story, just pause the video and check it out. I'll hold it here for a minute. And then over here, they got a, a photo of San Francisco back in the day before, well, during the bridge being built. So this would be like 1934, 35 time. Now you see the Palace of Fine Arts down there at the bottom. I shot a video of that, um, and it's on my channel also, so check that out. It was raining that day, but it was still really cool. And these buildings down here is the Marina District. 
And during the 1989 earthquake, a lot of those got severe damage because it liquefactioned. And then here, um, this blank area is Chrissy Fields, which used to be military. And now it's just open. Um, and up there, the other tower in the Marin County side, all those hills, as soon as World War II started, they had a, a very big operation to put bunkers up. You can kind of see some here to protect the Bay Area. And um, there's secret tunnels actually all throughout those hills um, that you can, that you, when I was a kid, you can go in them, but now you can't. And they were scary because they go like way underground. So the idea is if you were over here, you can get over there under a ground, under a tunnel. Here's a sign here. Talking about the beginning of the bridge. The engineering and design. Working underwater. So they did the foundation for it. The bathtub for the South Tower. And world's tallest bridge towers. Look at this thing. That's big. And then spinning the main cables. Then hanging the roadway deck. All in a day's work. This talks about the workers. A lot of these guys uh, unfortunately fell. Uh, but the, the Joseph Strauss, he made the safety net. And that saved 19 lives during the construction of the bridge. But there were several people that died also. And legend has it that um, there's a body in the concrete. A guy fell during a huge concrete pour and they couldn't get him out, so he's still there apparently. And talking about what it takes to preserve the Golden Gate Bridge and keep it going. Alright, now we're going up to the main level where the actual bridge is. There she is. Pretty darn impressive, don't you think? I just think that was built in the 30s. I certainly picked a beautiful day to come out here. It is nice out here. And as you can imagine, um, if you see, I'm going to do a turnaround. There's like no one up here. That's extremely unusual. We come up here during the um, summertime and it is packed with people. So it's very unusual to be here when it's just quiet. I'm going to walk down this path a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go up to this flag first. I'm not sure the significance of this ball, but it's kind of cool. And rails here. Talking about the bridge depth deflection. And this is interesting about the Fort Point arch. Arch down here. We're talking about the strength. When you put an arch, the 
it's, it's a very, very strong structure. And then they got a foghorn on the bridge. Which you can hear when it's foggy like this. Now, you, a lot of people probably don't realize this, but it gets really foggy here in the summertime. Not necessarily in the winter, but in the summer. So in the summer mornings, it'll be very foggy and then it'll clear up and be a beautiful day like today. Literally, this is, look what I just said. Fog is most common in the summer when the air over the interior lands heats up more than over the ocean. I didn't read that in advance, people. I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes. And then this is talks about how the bridge vibrates. There's a famous guy that made a suspension bridge in Seattle, Washington. Tacoma, Washington, I think it was, and the bridge completely failed because he didn't anticipate the wind. And there's a footage of it in the 1930s or 20s, I think it's 40s, of wind hitting it, and the whole bridge was just collapses. You should check it out if you get a chance. So they really thought about the, the wind in this bridge and what it does to everything. Alright, so I'm gonna walk a little bit down this path. I, you know, I can't do a lot of walking. I got this condition in my foot right now I'm trying to get rid of plantar fasciitis which really sucks by the way if you guys ever get it it's horrible but I wanted to show you guys some close-ups of underneath the bridge here and down there is Fort um, let's see if my memory is any good I think it's Fort Cronkite I'm pretty sure See the Fort Baker or Fort Cronkite? And just outside of it, the, um, the a lot of wind surfers will come here on a windy day. And you see the light house there on top. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to probably drive down there and make it part of the video so you can see underneath. But you see all these guys doing construction on the bridge. So here, this little hole in the fence cut out, pop. Now this is the north side of the bridge, or excuse me, the south side. And everybody going away from us is going towards Marin County. Now here's right under the roadway. You see those little rubber things? Those are uh, little cushions. You can see the roadway move. Now. amazing huh again you gotta remember this is built in 1937 now we're gonna go right under the bridge and now we're on the ocean side I'm gonna have to do a follow-up video of this um, because the guys the maintenance worker guys are saying all these things wrapped up our brand new things are going to unveil. But they're waiting for COVID because they don't want to attract people. They're trying to keep people away, actually. And it's working because there's no one here. A couple more signs. Talk about aerodynamics of the bridge. Signs kind of beat up. Oh, this is the Tacoma Bridge I was telling you about. You see how it's twisting in the wind? Well... There's a video of that, and there's a car on it, and it falls. 
pretty sad story actually. A guy got out of his car and he, he ran and he, real, he left his dog in the car and he couldn't go back to save the dog so the dog perished. But if you want to watch a crazy video, watch that video of the Tacoma Bridge. And this is talking about the earthquake retrofitting. What they've done to test it for earthquakes, because we are in California. And this is more uh, more details about the earthquakes. Trying to get the shadow right. <laughs> Can't really get the shadow. And then ships that come through the Golden Gate. There's obviously freight, freight, cargo, uh, Coast Guard, and there's tourist ships that can you want to get a look underneath. Tugboats. That's the ferry for commuting. Sailboats. more um, seismic isolation. Those are those cushions I just showed you guys, those black cushions for earthquakes. So obviously, this is the bay. Next piece of land, if you go that way, over 3,000 miles, you're gonna hit Hawaii. As you can hear in the in the microphone, it's windy. I'll try to cover it. It's not so bad. But down there is the Pacific Ocean, and over to the right or left are some really uh, ritzy neighborhoods. And um, I know for a fact the same, uh, guitar player Metallica, Kurt Hammond, he has one of those houses right there that overlooks the beach. And that beach is, is pretty cool um, to go to. And then you get this wonderful view of the bridge. I want to tell you guys a funny story. You see um, underneath the bridge there? I never did it, but when I was in high school, there was a, friends of mine that would go out there on the other side, in the Marin County side. And they would climb out there and drink beer and smoke pot and party. And one time they invited me and I was too chicken. I didn't want to. There's was, was no safety net or anything. And I'm, I don't like heights too much. So, but that's a funny, kind of funny story. And they also, as you notice, I can't get very close under the bridge. Well, this bridge... Um, has been painted with lead paint for a long time so all the ground underneath the bridge is toxic because the lead paint and the chippings that have fallen off over the years so they keep the public away for health concerns and health reasons here they got a sign talking about the suicide barrier they're making right here it goes all along the side there Unfortunately, because this bridge is so famous, um, uh, over 2,000 people have decided to end their lives jumping off the bridge. Very sad. There's a famous officer that has talked, I believe, the number is over 200 people out of jumping. And the main message he shares is they just want to be heard. They just so want, want someone to listen. So if you ever, ever have an opportunity to help someone in that kind of situation, just listen to them. They just want to talk. By the way, no drones are allowed.
Fort Point. That's what it is. It's Fort Point. Fort Point. Fort Point. They come down here and they got this wood you can um, carve your name into as a souvenir. Been talking about Fort Point being the keeper of the gate. the depth of the bay a lot of people don't realize it but the san francisco bay area is very very shallow except under the bridge but a lot of this stuff here is only like 10 11 feet i'm gonna walk down here a little bit i see these purple flowers that are interesting to me you can hear the birds singing I love the color of this. It's like violet. Pretty, huh? And then we got a dead one here, not so pretty. I planted some of these in my backyard, but they they haven't bloomed. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna educate people. You see this bush? It is poison oak. Ripe and ready um actually the redder they are the more um, can, uh, um not contagious so the way poison oak works is it has oil on the leaves and it gets in your skin and it drives you insane and makes you itch like crazy wow it's a big bumblebee so and the, the leaves are round so anybody that doesn't know about poison oak, you want to stay away from this. You don't even want to brush your clothing on it. Um, and if you ever do get it, don't, whatever you do, don't rub your eyes and don't scratch it and then scratch something else because that's how it spreads. You get it all over your body. And it sucks. I've had it like uh, three times in my life probably. So I'm going to be very careful. I just want to film this color of this flower. And the purple, it's like iridescent. And good old poison oak. So the more as summer goes along, it'll turn bright red and then, and then it's super bad. The leaves are just full of oil. So you don't want to go just trotting along in a poison oak patch. Alright, and they got a little picnic ground here so again if you guys take uber or lyft bring a little picnic with you a couple tables here you can sit in the grass and there's alcatraz over there off in the distance and a cypress tree here just keep in mind that again you come here in the summertime um, it's it can be very cold and very foggy even if it's going to be a, a 90 degree day that day so what I do a little uh, travel tip for you guys a little travel tip for you guys is what I do is Golden Gate Bridge has several live cameras so you, you punch in Golden Gate Bridge cam and if you're planning to come out here in the morning or you're flying here and you're going to be here the next day, check out the, the what the cam is in the morning. You can dress accordingly. Um, for you tourists out there that have come into San Francisco for the first time, uh, we do everything in layers here uh, because we call it microclimates. It could be freezing cold here and you drive over the bridge there and you drive about 20 miles, it'll be 80 degrees. It'll be 52 here and 80 degrees there. So travel with a, you know, a sweater you can tie around your waist if you don't need it. Um, but bring a jacket wherever you go. Otherwise, you're going to be miserable um, because you'll suddenly be freezing. Just a uh, tech a tip for you people that are not familiar with San Francisco. It's interesting. Remember how I was talking about bunkers? They have this like footpath. I'm not gonna walk in it. 
Now, this is funny. I've lived here my whole life. I've never knew this existed. I might as well walk through it to the other side. Now, this is the idea of what I was talking about, all the tunnels under this area here. You can tell. Got closed off. They're all military tunnels. Not a place you'd want to be walking through in the middle of the night, I'll tell you that. But this is a pretty safe area out here. So I'm not going to continue walking, but this will take you down to the Chrissy Field that I pointed out before. This shows you some of the... Um, the cannons that they used. Battery. So it was all, you see how they would have right there on the cement. You could, the idea was they'd shoot enemy ships. Alright, let's go back to the tunnel. So it's very interesting because I never knew this tunnel existed. See, I discover stuff too. It doesn't smell so great down here. Low clearance, you're not kidding me. Another little story to tell you guys about the bridge. Since I've been here most of my life, I was here for the, um, let me think about it, the 75th birthday celebration. Because the bridge is 83 years old now, or 84 years old. And they had the most amazing firework display I've ever seen in my life. They had the entire span of the bridge. They had raining, sparks coming down and the tower shooting rockets off the the towers it, um, it was crazy and you can imagine the amount of people that were watching it it was insane um, getting home that night but it was worth it it was a once in a lifetime thing um, and it, you know san francisco is a very bike friendly city so these are the bike trails and if you come to the city, you can rent bicycles and you can ride all over the place. Some awards here. Civil Engineering Monument of the Millennium. I'll film these signs. I don't know. You probably have to pause it try to read them. Foundation, 19, 2019. All right, let's go walk the bridge. Is the bridge tall? It no longer exists. signs here. Emergency if you need help. Dedication of the bridge. It's weird walking this bridge. I think in my lifetime I've only walked it twice. Finally installed the barrier between the two lanes. It's called a movable barrier, and they finally installed one because they used to have really bad head-on accidents here all the time because they just had these little flimsy pylons that they would insert into these holes into the ground 
And that's how they would make the commute lanes bigger or smaller depending on the commute direction. You can start to get a feel for the height of this when you're up here. I can smell the paint. We must be painting right now. Hopefully this sign will be a thing of the past. Observe social distancing. And you see they recommend holding hands to your children. Unfortunately, over the years, I mean, it's extremely sad, but some kids have actually managed to slip under the rails and fall. So if you bring your kids here, you really want to monitor them. So here's one of the anchoring concrete structures. Looks like that one needs some repair up there. Just give you a little shot of the height. pretty far down. There's a view above the fort. That That's normally open. You can go visit it. I'll do a video of that sometime. So this is a main anchoring spot here. I got bob wire up there because some crazy people on occasion, we'll go up there and try to parachute off, which to me seems insane. There's a little thing I can slip through and show you the fort, though. All right, we cleared the steel chain. And you can see here the suicide barrier we're putting up. Which will save a lot of lives. There's actually a movie out there of a guy that actually filmed a lot of people jumping. I never really wanted to watch it. It's too sad. But there is a movie out there. So here we are. Here's the cables. Anchor to the roadway. Lots of lucky coins down there, I guess. No, those are, they look like dimes. Pennies, dimes. So, very interesting story having to do with the birthday of the bridge in 1970, oh, excuse me, the 75th birthday. Um, they closed this roadway down and allowed pedestrians and bicycles to come on it. And it was crazy. I decided to do it. I rode my bicycle from that side and there were uh, like 800,000 people on the bridge that day and it, it was, it got so insane. They didn't monitor, they didn't limit the amount of people so by the time you're in the middle of the span there you were packed in like sardines and I had a bicycle and they wanted some people it was so crowded they wanted you to hold your bike above your head because the bikes was taking too much room so it, it was a, a crazy day and when you're standing on the bridge you can actually feel the whole bridge swing and so there's a little fear involved and um, 
the reports were that the bridge cables actually stretch like a quarter inch from the weight of the people on the bridge. Because there's a lot more weight than cars driving over, if you can imagine all the people. Two hundred and twenty two feet straight down. And it takes about four seconds from here to get down to the water. Got a lot of moss on the bridge up there. You can see how the lower section, looks like the lower section has been painted recently, but the uppers have not, and the very top has been painted of the tower. They're always painting. to the first tower. Just look at this thing. Look how massive it is. You don't really get a grasp of how impressive this bridge is until you get under it like I am. I got this whole placard here, dedication. dedication here. Now, in these towers, there's elevators in here. And you can, the workers take them all the way to the top. Got people starting to lock the love fence here.
All right, more view here. Now this is just past the main tower, one of the uh, southern tower. And there's no one out here today. No one on the bridge, no one on the bay. It uh, still has a lot of signs of pandemic, even though we're opening up a lot. There's just no one out here. So I'm going to walk to the halfway point and then turn around. Getting down to the center here. Main cables come down close to the roadway and then start to arch back up to the north tower. All right, we reach the center, and these are the big cables that hold up the bridge. Three feet in diameter. I believe this right here is the exact center. And we got, of course, Alcatraz. This is Angel Island. There's a little um, area down there that I'll drive down and show you the that view down there. It's a really good view. And then I don't know if you can see that little building there. There's a lighthouse down there and when COVID opens up. I'll also go down there. And there's the guys working on the suicide barrier. So this is uh, pretty amazing. Um, engineering. You can see this cable. You know, I put my hand on it and I could actually feel it moving. So this bridge is like a, a breathing uh, organism. Constantly moving. Pretty amazing. That's all I gotta say. Pretty amazing. Show you over the edge. It's a long way down. If you can see it but there's dolphins down there wow I've never in my life seen dolphins let alone under the bridge I always see them in parks that was crazy at first I thought they were sharks For those that are in distress thinking about taking their own lives. About 99% of the people that jump from the bridge do not survive. I got a call box here. You can push the button if you need help. Pretty amazing, huh? Feel the vibration of everything just putting your hand on this.
Here's a little better view of the port out there. Y'all see one wind surfer today. And sometimes you actually see surfers. There's actually waves that come through here that are surfable. It's another dolphin. You see where that white water is? Let's see if it jumps out again. No. Rose garden here. Roses haven't bloomed yet. Okay, it's pretty nice. The, ma the flag is at half mass, probably because of the um, unfortunate things that happen here in America constantly are these mass shootings. Some idiot in Colorado went into a grocery store and gunned down 10 people. And unfortunately, he did not take the gun and kill himself, so... We gotta spend our taxpayer money keeping this prick alive. Wow, this is a pretty tree. Flowers on that. The lilies, we used to fool people. Telling people those are Cheetos when we were kids. Cafe, which is closed, but we might as well show you what it looks like. Eventually, it'll be open. You can get one of the greatest views in the world while you're eating your hamburger or whatever they have in there. I imagine they sell hamburgers and stuff like that when they're open we got a menu can't see the light lots of coffee it definitely gets cold here in the in the summer when it's foggy back to my car i go this place is for tickets or something all right I'm gonna go buy a souvenir in here we got a little badge here so they got a lot of little collectibles and things here chains rivet that's cool it's heavy too like a real rivet water bottles pens hotel pens patches that's a cool patch or luggage tag it's nice Postcards. You think of all the memorabilia they have for the car. These are cool too. The towers. It's like a desk weight. I'm gonna have to get one of those. And bridge. What's this? Something you put on your desk. That's cool too. I like the tower so far. Little purse. Mm. Magnets. Stickers. Stuff about Alcatraz, Al Capone. I filmed him in the wax museum. Wow, this is nice. 
They got some really nice stuff in here. Golden Gate Bridge snow globe. Muir Woods snow globe. <laughs> Look at this mock-up of the tower, test tower. Built to confirm the calculations made to determine the strength of the full-size tower. Oh, this is... A... That's really cool. I like that. Everything's related to the bridge. Sun catcher. Oh, that's cool. You hang it in your window. It's nice. A little more fun facts about the bridge. Staggering statistics. 600,000 number of rivets in each tower. 600,000 rivets in each tower. Clearance um, or from the bridge to the water is 220 feet. Pretty cold. And this is like a mock-up. That's pretty neat. Just notice this, this is cool too. This poster. It's a height poster. I, I did a lot. I got a lot of nice stuff here. Here's the fancier stuff. It's in the case. Watches. Jewelry. Bridges on it. Uh, those minivans are cool. VW bus and a cable there is see the cable there there was this guy in the um, 70s that bought a but you know they change their cables out every I don't know how often every probably 10 years or something and this guy bought he found out they were just throwing them away and he he put like that piece you see there on a piece of wood similar to that didn't paint it or anything and he became a millionaire selling them selling them as souvenirs this is the perfect color this talks about the color of the bridge in that international orange became synonymous with the Golden Gate Bridge. Consulting architect Irving F. Moreau was responsible for the surprising choice in the 30s. And I believe the story goes that they are always painting the bridge because it has to be repainted. And I, I believe it takes five years to paint the bridge completely and then they just start over. So if you're a painter on the bridge, that's what you do. <laughs> so and this is Alcatraz snow globe. Ornament, Christmas ornament. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Beautiful day, huh? Uh huh. It is. <laughs> All these books they got, Mirror Woods and San Francisco. So if you guys come out here, definitely come to this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back and get one of the spans. There's photographs here. I don't know what the numbers are. Rivets. Oh, they're like rivet keychains. Huh. Al Capone. 
Well, I just went into the souvenir store and got this thing here. I thought it was pretty cool. Looks like a paperweight. Wasn't very much money either. It's 12 bucks. It's not bad. And then they gave me this postcard too. Talks about the bridge. So I wanted to come down and show you guys uh, Fort Point down here and under this part of the bridge. So Fort Point is closed right now. But there's the bridge. I was just on. There's a little sign here talking about the tide and the waves and measuring the sea level. We're down here. Stand here in a storm, you'll get wet. They're saying the sea level is really high. Yeah, the, the wave definitely slapped pretty big here. So this is a view looking north. Uh, from the San Francisco side. And there goes one of the waves now. They hit the rocks. Now, I was, I was saying before that people do surf down here. Um, the waves that come rolling in. And then um, when this uh, Fort Point opens up, I'm gonna do a video inside of that too. But things are opening up, so maybe another three or four months. Let's hope. I'm not sure what this represents, these hands. Anybody know what those hands mean? Well, add a note to the comments if you have any idea, because I don't. couple tributes here to people. So that's um, south side of the bridge, looking north. So here's this entrance normally to Fort Point right here. And then underneath the bridge, which I'll be driving over shortly. All right. So you guys that use Google Maps, this vehicle in front of me is one of those vehicles that records everything. It drives around every neighborhood films everything. How would you like that job? I thought I would show you guys a little different perspective for fun. 
I have the camera looking straight up into the sky from my um, sunroof. So you can see the underpinnings of the bridge. We're on the north side. I just crossed the bridge and we're at a place called Vista Point. So I thought I'd stop here and show you guys this. These old Art Deco lights. This is really nice. These benches. And the Coast Guard. Bronze. Great detail on that. Rescuing the fishing boat looks like. Look at these people here. That's awesome, that bronze statue. Or a plaque. And this is a tribute to sailors, another bronze. Statue. Great detail. He's got his little duffel bag full of all his stuff. And this is the Navy one. Now, I did a whole uh, five-part series of a USS Hornet stationed in Oakland. So that's on my channel, too. And then the Merchant Marines. Uh, these are the guys that supply everything for the war. Without them, it's hard to get anything done. One of the Marine Corps. Wow, this one's really cool. All the detail of their faces. Not a lot of people smiling. War sucks. For this guy. So here is the north side, and now I'm in Marin County. And this is the view from Vista Point. So we're coming into the Presidio now. This used to be all military. And 
and uh, George Lucas, Mr. Star Wars, bought a lot of the Concedia. I don't know if he bought this part of it, but he definitely bought the part over by the San Francisco side. And uh, he's converted it into office space, and there's actually a Walt Disney Museum over there too. So it's a museum about Walt Disney, not necessarily about Disneyland. So, and then over the left, you got some Coast Guard ships and Coast Guard stations here. If anybody uh, needs help or rescue in the water, uh, these guys are going to be coming to your service. There's a pier over here. And that pier is you can fish off. A lot of people fish off it. And then here's the underside of the bridge from the northern perspective looking south. And there is a lighthouse out there. I think I already mentioned it, but. I'm going to try to do a tour of that when it opens up, too. So, when I was a teenager, all these gates you see, they weren't there. There were no gates. Um, you could drive through, you could drive under the bridge here and around. But now they got, like I mentioned, the lead poisoning, lead paint. They got issues there. So they don't let you walk around and they got these gates. I don't even know what they are. Authorized vehicles only. Oh look, there's a guy painting here. Painting the bridge. It's pretty nice. Looks good. I don't have painting talent, but that looks pretty good. So that's the Golden Gate Bridge, and there's the pier. And off in the distance, there's some bunkers up there, and that used to be where they would have um, cannons uh, for ships. And the Coast Guard station is right up here. Uh, I mentioned all, all these roads were open. There used to be a road up on this hill at the very top that, where the car is pointing now. Um, where you could drive up there. And I'm telling you, the view at night was unbelievable. They're basically fire roads, but they didn't have any gates blocking them off. This is back in the 1980s. And... We used to come out here and party all the time. And you didn't um, really get bothered by standard police because this was um, military. Some military police would come around. And, you know, the few times that we did get harassed or asked what we were doing, they didn't do anything. They just let us do what we were doing. So that was cool. Yeah, I don't know if you can see all these concrete installations, but those are those tunnels I was telling you about. There's tunnels all throughout here. There's the Coast Guard there. There's the Rainbow Tunnel, or the Robin Williams Tunnel, going north. Get ready to hold your breath. One, two, three, go. Hey, I wanted to thank everybody for watching my video about the Golden Gate Bridge. If you enjoy this video, I'm going to be doing a lot more of the San Francisco Bay Area and sometimes beyond when I leave the Bay Area. So hit your subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. I'm doing a lot of videos now because I have time. 
COVID and everything. So, and for those of you that have already subscribed, I appreciate it a lot. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge video. And I'll see you next time.